everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Goons. It's me Grant and today we are going through the Resident Evil 3 uh, main game. Um, you may have seen last week uh, we did tease the demo that was released on the PSN um, but we're pleased now to be able to give you the full game footage which I'm quite excited about. So we're just going to jump straight on in into the story mode. Um, start a new game on standard difficulty I think. Um, but yeah, I, I think as we said in the demo, I haven't actually played Resident Evil, or the original Resident Evil 3 myself. Um, I've seen my dad play it. Um, I was a little bit too young and a little bit scared to do myself. Um, so hopefully let's not repeat itself. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious. Uh, citywide emergency has been declared. CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Okay then, so it looks like Umbrella's up to their old tricks and making rather dubious biological weapons again. Um, we, well, I can probably take a stab and say it's Nemesis. <laughs> we'll no doubt find out soon, I think. Um, so just explore. I'm probably playing as Jill, I'd imagine. Let's close the window first. Just don't want to mess up her apartment. <laughs> um, actually, the first person's perspective is unusual. Um, let's take a look around the office and her, or her apartment, as it were. Uh, American City. So uh, she's probably scoping out all umbrella hideouts and thresholds. Speaker system. Ah, there you go. Silhouette. That must be Jill. Someone's in the bathroom. I can even wash their hands. Oh, it's just left the tap running. Let's turn it off. Hi. Uh, Oh, she left a gun on the counter though. Must be a little bit paranoid. <laughs> she must be dreaming, surely. I said that. <laughs> oh, no. Gets worse every night. 
definitely a dream. So we call that. So September is her worst month of her life. So I'm guessing she's, or I say she, Jill, is recovering from the, well I guess the aftermath of Resident Evil 1. Um, and in that game, she and the other stars members had to escape the Arctic Manor. Uh, well, after investigating that, um, which is actually the source of the T virus outbreak. Um, she actually needs to turn lights on. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, it's very dark in here. <laughs> Let's read the memos. So just exp explaining the T-virus um, infection, I guess. What else is in here? we got another envelope. So I'm just being nosy here reading all the, all the documents and papers. Okay, interesting. Okay, not the front door, the front door's locked. Um, she hasn't moved out much, there's lots of papers and boxes. And some breakfast, and some pizza. Oh, so it's hard to read. There you go. You have to get quite close. Ah, talking about pizza. Brad is one of her, her stars colleagues. Obviously, did it on the download. Oh, download, download. <laughs> Sorry, and gave her that that thing. And she's very messy, as it turns out. <laughs> Full of dishes. What's in the fridge? Let's have a look. Raccoon milk, a bit of wine. Kitchen mosu. Don't know what that is. But yeah, it looks like she's left the tap running. I can hear that running in the background. Oh, if I can open the door. Oh, I guess I have to get really close. <laughs> let's pop the lights on again. Okay, so there's no blood this time. So this must be real life. And that does look like Jill. So okay, we're back to the third person perspective, and the phone is ringing. Is that a phone? Yes, it is a phone. What's that coming from? Over here. Okay. Hello. Jill, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, to Brad Vickers. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe jump a little bit then. Uh, oh, okay. So it looks like we're encountering Nemesis in the first 10 minutes. Oh, oh. Can we get every kicking then? Oh dear. Oh. He's not listening up, is he? Okay, so here's our first encounter with Nemesis. I think the best idea is to run. What the hell is that um, thing? We're just gonna get away from here. Let's go to the exit. This seems sensible. Ooh. He's already through the door. Not so good. I've just run back into the apartment. Oh no, it's someone else's apartment. Tell a lie. Right, let's not hang around. I don't have a gun. Um, I'll jump out the window. Let's get in the fire escape, this is sensible. No, Someone hanging for their life, I'm not going to help them, sorry, oh, that's pretty selfish. Um, this seems to be the right way to go. Oh! Okay, he, he's not going to let up this guy. Um, 
Do you remember that bit though? Nemesis does have like weird tentacle things. Um, he can whip you from a distance, so it's not very good. It's best if we get a little bit of distance between us. Oh. oh. Okay, back in the forest, go, that's good. Let's just head down. As long as we can get away quick. Oh! Now. Oh, oh, she's not running very fast. Okay, let's get the exit. Is he trapped? Oh, I seriously hope he is. He's broke for every other wall <laughs> and ceiling since then. Right. Let's head out of here. Oh, the problem is there's probably going to be zombies in the streets. Is that Brad? Brad? Yes, it is. You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Well, thank goodness for Brad. At least, if he didn't call, I think Joe would have been dead then. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like our clay. I'm God, the city's in ruins. Look at this. Disaster. Mars, Carlos off duty. Bad luck game. Let's see what around here. Is there any weapons I can pick up? Or? Oh, oh, that guy just died. Let's make a quick move. Zombies. So many. I can't defend myself, I'm just gonna run away from here. To bar jack. Bit of resourceful bread. Oh I got bit! Brad, noble sacrifice. And just like that, we've left him. Sorry. Oh. Do I have to fight him? I think the game's forcing me to. Oh. Ain't nobody got time for that. I've got six bullets. Ooh. I don't think I've got to fight through this. Okay, no, I don't. Crawl under. I thought to go back then. Let's pop him first. Oh, should I? Oh, there's too many of those. Let's just run out of here. Parking garage. I just said the same thing as her then. <laughs> Can I stealth kill? Oh, oh he's not a zombie. Okay. <laughs> it's a good job I didn't kill him then. <laughs> oh, he's locked himself in. That's not a good idea. Officer, I'm here to help. 
Zephyr is willing to help Sir, us, see? This is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Okay, that's it then. I think he's resigned to death in that cabin. <laughs> I guess. We'll just leave him here, I think. Uh, hang oh hang on, no way. That's good. I'm in need of that. Right. Again, seven bullets isn't much, but we shall make do with what we have. There's, oh, there's a dog there. Oh, okay. Um, I don't. I said it before. I, I don't get me wrong. I love dogs in real life. I'm quite scared of the zombie dogs. They're very quick. and They do chase you. So I'm just gonna run out here really quick. I don't really want to hang around. Oh, it's more zombies. I think if we just keep on moving, it's probably the best. I don't really want to hang around too much. Here. I say it pains me. I love to explore things. It's kind of in my nature, especially when playing games. I hate missing stuff. Oh. Jump scare after one another here. Shit. Right, I've got to stand and fight now. I missed him. It got me. Right, he's on the floor. And again, not doing a good job here. Right, let's just shoot them. One bullet left. That's it, run out of bullets. Oh no, I'm going to die in the first chapter. This isn't good at all. Let's get to the lift. Just run away. <laughs> get in, get in, get in again. Sorry guys, <laughs> promise to get better than that. Hey, okay, this must be the parking garage though, it's very convenient. Terminator, the way he's walking over. Oh, he's getting closer. Come on. I'm running over. No time for cost to break now. It's my turn, bitch. Oh, drive, got to. Oh. No! She fell the bridge. She did, yeah. Oh, she's alive. this. Oh, I can't do anything. I can't crawl away. Hey, fuck this. Did you just catch that rocket? You did. That's pretty cool. Hey, easy lady. I got you. Who are you? What do you do? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe.
I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? And Carlos says nothing. I know we just come back this way. But I've got a funny feeling if we don't explore it, there will be something I miss. Oh, maybe not. It's all blocked off. Okay, that's fine. It's worth checking. So Central Street, Redstone Street Station. Okay. We'll bear that in mind. Let's follow Carlos. He oh, wait too patiently. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Mm. You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, we're just here to help you. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. But you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? This way. Well, to be fair, he does work for Umbrella, but he is just an employee, so let's not tarnish him with that brush. So let's go with him. Dino bites. Be tasty, they might be extinct. Hmm. Very cheesy. Okay, so it's a weird sort of sub subway bunker? I don't really <laughs> I don't really know how to explain that. So I can't run at the moment, so just have to walk as the game intends. Hey Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady your name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. So that's good news. But yeah, I think as I was saying earlier, I know they do work for Umbrella, but I do think in this situation they are just, just you know, employees. They don't know better. They're probably in that situation. 
just because. Oh, I just, just came this way. Let's, let's not get back the way I came. That's not the right way. Over to the left, I'm here. Really took a chunk. chunk. He's probably been bitten. It's not a good thing. Okay, so gunpowder two, times two is handgun. Gunpowder and high grade gunpowder is shotgun. Two high grade gunpowders are mag ammo. Probably magnum. Good to know. Let's check the other side of the train first. I think we're all, all okay. I think the survivors down this way. Yeah, there, there. That's fine. So up to street level we go. Into danger, as they say. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, excuse me. Take my throat. <laughs> Let's check for supplies. Okay, so just like we said in the demo, it looks to be a newspaper clipping of the Arclay Manor um, outbreak, as it were. So I forgot the word then. I didn't bring up a vote. <laughs> it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Got some health. That's always good to good to have. Okay. Two gunpowders and let's break the box while we're here. Ah, so if you pop a inventory open, or some map to the line. Um Ah, so the game just told me then if you can combine items, um, especially a good a mixed herb, which gives you essentially a full health uh, replenishment, which is always handy. Likewise, we're going to combine these two to form handgun ammo, which again we do need because I've got no bullets. <laughs> I wasted them all downstairs. Let's just a quick sweep to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, what's that? That's oh, locked. Can I break it? No. So it looks like it's locked with a key, I'd imagine. No doubt we'll come back later with that, so that's good to know. Um, there's nothing left on the counters, so I think we're probably done. I think we're just going to explore each room as we go through. Um, one thing about the map in this, this game, um, as you can probably see, it does look red. Um, every time you clear a room out of items, or you pick up all the available items as it were, the map does turn blue. So yeah, red indicates we're missing something. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Ah, okay, so this looks like a puzzle of some sort, so we need a key item um, to enter later on. Um, let's just have a quick look around the room, and we'll probably save the game just to make sure we don't <laughs> lose progress as it were. Ah, uh, there you go. So just as we, uh, as I said, uh, mixing herbs gives diff different proficiencies. Uh, a green and a red herb gives the best um, health option, or three greens. But it's probably best to do red and green because red's on its own is useless. It has no effect. Let's just do one last view of the room. Let's check everything in the storage box, which is not. Okay, so it looks like we're good to go and save. So yeah, typewriters are, are our saviour in this game. I don't know why that is, but at least we don't have ink ribbons like we did in the original. <laughs> so I think that brings us to the end of the first episode. Um, meet me back shortly and we'll join us on Jill's adventure through Wrecking City. So thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe or comment below on it with any feedback on the video. And we look to again see you at the next video. Over and out.